A radio man on watch aboard a task force flagship is handed a tactical signal by the communications officer. This is immediately transmitted to the rest of the division. As a result of this signal, the entire task force changes course. The radio man plays an important part in maneuvers. His fighting weapon is the transmission key. Let's take a look at the key and see what makes it tick. The important parts of the key are the knob, the contact, and the tension spring. Both the tension spring and the contacts are adjustable by means of these screws. If the contacts are too far apart, sending will be erratic. If the contacts are too close together, sending becomes an effort. Adjust the gap screw so that the space between the contacts is one thirty-second of an inch. This is correct. The tension spring is also adjustable. If it's too loose, sending will be sloppy. If too tight, sending becomes difficult. Adjust the spring so that the key has a nice kickback, which permits the transmission of crisp, understandable code. You have seen the mechanical adjustments of the key. Listen to the sounds of the key. These sounds are transmitted in International Morse Code. To illustrate the basic elements of International Morse Code, let us take the words, we do. These series of boxes make up the time scale, which will show you the correct time proportion of the dis, the das, and the various spaces. The white boxes represent the sounds heard, the dis and the dot. The black boxes represent the spacing between the sounds. These are the dis. The da is three times as long as the dis. The space between the dis and the dot that make up the letter is equal to one dis. Spacing between the letters is equal to three dis or one da. The spacing between words is equal to seven dis or two da. These are the basic elements of Morse code. It is essential that you develop a second sense of correct timing so that you can send clear, readable code. In taking your position at the key, the first rule is to have your desk clear of everything, such as call books, paperweights, etc anything that might require you to place your arm in an uncomfortable position. Your feet should be flat on the deck. Sit erect in your chair. When sending, these are the working parts of the body. The brain, the eyes, the ear, the arm, the wrist, and the fingertip. The rest of the body should be comfortably relaxed and forgotten. The good sender coordinates these working parts so that he can concentrate on his sending during rough weather and all sorts of adverse conditions. To control the key, the thumb and second fingers grasp the rim of the knob, while the forefinger acts as the pressure finger. The grasp should be about as firm as would enable you to lift a loose key. Keep in mind that the two pressure points are the fleshy part of the arm, on the desk, and the forefinger, on the key. The wrist must be relaxed. 
To start sending at any time, drop your arm limp at the side of your key and proceed. For easy sending, the wrist should be as relaxed as this. The wrist should be off the table. Incorrect. Tapping with one or more fingers makes for uncomfortable and inaccurate sending. Also incorrect. The operator is tensing his whole arm. His wrist is not performing properly. He will tire rapidly. Remember, the wrist should work easily like a hinge between the hand and the forearm. It should never be stiff. At all times, it should be steady and parallel to the table. Now, this man has poor form. Notice how the coin always slips off his wrist because it is not parallel to the table. This wasted motion causes excessive work and inaccurate. Another form of incorrect sending. He is tense, sending on his nerves. He is punching the key. Now, here is the same man two hours later. His arm is all tensed up. He is tired and he's in pain. He has what is known as a glass arm, the writer's cramp of the radio man. He is through. In good sending form, the wrist is parallel to the table, relaxed and steady. The sender can transmit for hours without the coin slipping off. Notice how relaxed this man is and how easily he sends. He has been transmitting steadily for two hours. He is fresh, still going strong, and can keep on going because he has mastered the technique of easy sending. And now for a quick review. You must know the important part of the key. The basic element of international Morse code. The disc, the da, the space between the elements, spacing between letters, the spacing between words. Keep your desk clear. Relax. Keep that wrist loose, free, and easy. It is only through work and constant practice that the beginner can acquire the accuracy, ease, and smoothness of performance that characterize the good radio man.